Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today we are going to be doing a small benchmark on Hogwarts Legacy. We are going to be testing it out on uh, everything maxed out on Ultra with uh, ray tracing on. We are going to have another test with ray tracing off. Then we are going to test it on high and then finally we are going to test it on medium. So that you guys can have a look at ki kis tara se uh, FPS mein difference aa raha hai, nahi aa raha hai, consistency mil rahi hai, nahi mil rahi hai. The system and the configuration which I have right now for this game is an RTX 3080 Founders Edition card with 16 gigs of RAM, 3200 MHz, and uh, it is running on a M.2 SSD as well. So yes, uh, without further ado, uh, get, let's get straight into the benchmarking. So I'll show you the settings which I have right now. Uh, as you can see, everything is on ultra, and I am on 2K resolution as well. Uh, ray tracing is on, and everything is on. So you can see ki when I'm walking around uh, the premises of Hogwarts, you can see ki we are getting uh, quite quite frame drops when we are coming to places like this where there are so many people around. So it goes down to 10 FPS and 11 FPS but keep in mind that this is still uh, early access day one ka patch release nahi hua hai so when the game officially launches on 10th you can expect a uh, first official patch note coming out which may or may not address all these FPS or lag issues so right now you can see that ki mera RAM usage jo hai, it is already maxing out jo mera PC ka RAM hai, which is 16 gigs it's already taking up 15 GB so I think that is again a uh, reason why where you can see the PC struggling to keep up with FPS and uh, with ray tracing on you can see that we are barely able to get 10 to 13 FPS even without uh, streaming or doing anything we are not even in the combat or anything but yes so moving on we are gonna go and just get rid of ray tracing and see if that affects the performance at all we are gonna keep everything on ultra as before but we are gonna turn off ray tracing at this point and we'll test out key how it looks so with ray tracing off we can see there's a there's a slight slight improvement uh, yes, so it, it takes some time to load up actually. So now you can see I can get an average of about 49 to 50 FPS while playing the game. Uh, usually this game is meant to be played on 60 FPS. So uh, pretty pretty much there, but can be done better with a few tweaks. So now moving on, we can go and switch our presets to high and see if that's gonna give us any advantage at all one more settings i would like to tell you guys is key this is logged on 60 fps if i if i take it up to 144 and like you know we can go ahead and test that out as well if that is gonna give us any boost uh, when it comes of fps and yes we can actually you can see uh, i'm getting around and more than like 70 80 fps it's hitting up to 80 fps when 80 90 94 fps depending on the scenario when you are moving around and uh, in uh, all over like you know different sorts of places in game but yes uh, you can see the average stays around 50 fps still with 2k resolution rtx off so moving on and we are gonna switch it switch our graphics to even lower we can go and turn it up to high and see if that is gonna help us at all we have the fps logged at 144 for now that is the resolution of a monitor so yes uh, with everything set to high you can see ki we were able to reach above 70 70 average you can see we are getting quite like you can, you can see that the details are quite there it is not exactly as having the ray tracing on and ultra and everything but yes uh, still the game looks pretty good so i think even on high you can have fun while uh, playing this game it is not too bad even on high so you can see the shadows and everything it's obviously not ray traced but still pretty pretty decent 
to be on high res and we can see above 70 is the average we are getting and last but not the least it is gonna be medium settings for all the guys who are gonna be struggling like me with low uh like you know low headroom for the ram which is like 16 gigs 16 gigs is not gonna be enough because while releasing the game they updated their spec list and Japan logan and their recommended ram is 32 gb so you are gonna need at least 32 gb of ram to have that extra headroom i have heard ki you need uh, a lot of ram for this game which goes up to even 27 28 with having everything set to ultra and uh, having the ray tracing shadows on and everything so yes uh, with medium as you can see even on medium i don't really feel a difference uh, when it in terms of uh, graphic quality uh, i still feel like it is quite quite there with uh, the high high resolution but yes the game feels much smoother and you can see ki it is using up to 12 gigs of ram and uh, i think uh, this is going to be the best sweet spot for everyone who are on kind of uh, 16 gig 16 gigs ram situation like myself Uh, so there you go boys uh, this was my short benchmark for hogwarts legacy i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below which system are you running it on or you trying to run it on and i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye bye